Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delare Studios. I will be looking at Java programming. Uh, today's topic will be based on encapsulation. The term encapsulation means to enclose in a capsule. In respect to Java programming, we'll be looking at what encapsulation really means. You know, or to wrap something around an object to cover it. In object-oriented programming, encapsulation covers or wraps the internal working of a Java object. Data variables or fields are hidden from the user of the object. Methods, the functions in Java, provide an explicit service to the user of the object but hide the implementation. As long as the services do not change, the implementation can be modified without impacting the user. So, uh, encapsulation, you know, can is, is, is a way of making a public field or a public method in Java by making them private. Now, one way to hide the implementation details is to declare all of the fields private. Now, we'll be looking, we'll be going through an example. We are going to create a class called employee. We'll be creating uh, a, a class called employee. So in this employee, we'll declare some fields and make them encapsulated. Uh, I'll move straight to my NetBeans ID, create a new project, Java application, Next, I call it encapsulation. Encapsulation and subclassing. Oh, okay, let me let me leave it at encapsulation alone now. I take up my the main class. I create a new project in my NetBeans ID. Okay. I'll create a new package. Come dot encapsulation. Okay. I'll create a new Java class called employee. Employee. Okay. I'll start off by declaring some private variables. In Java, we call them fields. Private integer employee ID. Private string. A. Private. String private double salary. Okay, I'll create an empty constructor public employee. With an empty constructor. Okay. I will only set and get on the name. So, first of all, let me create the get method for name. I'll create another public string get name. Get name method. Okay. Uh, it's going to return a value since it's not a void. So it's going to return name. Okay. Now, there must be a corresponding set name, which I'll call a public void. This is not going to return a value. Set name. 
it has one parameter, a string parameter called name. Okay. So let's scroll this down to the subject. Um, there's a comment. I'm gonna make sure the name, the name value is equal. Is not sorry, is not null or empty. Okay, so I'll declare an if statement to test my name. Name not not equals to null and the double ampersand not I use my equals method now to test if it's not empty you know so now you do some stuff. This particular name, you set it at the name variable. Okay? With this class employee, we have four private fields employee ID, the name, the SSN, and the salary, an empty constructor for now, uh, a string that gets the name, which returns the name uh, variable. And we have a set name method that takes a parameter, the name. Now we do use an if statement to check that our name should not be null or empty. So it's going to set the name. But now we need to call this in our main method. So I'm going to create a new Java class called employee tests. It's, a, it's going to have the main method. Okay. Now, come over here. My public static void main, the main method, string. And the adds. You can also write it this way. Wait. Okay. In it, uh, we're going to instantiate the class called employee. Employee, we call it, uh, let's call it uh, Ben. That's the name of the first employee. Let me use small letter. I'm going to say new employee. Sorry. Okay, now it's going to be caps. Sorry for that. Now we just want to we want to test our private fields. I go back to my employee class, so I'm going to use a test to specify that Ben. Can I just call on? The set name, or can I just try to edit the name of Ben straight up? Okay, let me call it uh, Benson. That's his name. Okay. What do you notice? I make the name package private, so it's telling me that that's, it's it's not going to run because it's private. If you should if you should look at the name the int, it said name as private access in employee, so it's not going to run because the name field has been set as private. So for this to run, I'm going to call on the sets for this to run. Let me comment this out. Sorry for that. Comment it over here. 
for this to run, I'm going to call on the set method. It's going to be Ben calling the set name. Okay. So the name will now be what? Branson. Branson. Okay, if you notice it has been set successfully, but for us to be able to see this on our console, I will use my system dot out dot print line to print it out to the console. Okay, in the system printout, I'm going to set up my label first, employee name as the label. Okay, I'm going to concatenate it with Ben dot get name this time around because I'm going to get the return name. So let me run this and see in the console. Okay, look at the console, you get to see the employee name is Benson based on the fact that I've been able to pass. In the parameter Benson into the set name method you know uh, the the encapsulation rule is that any private fields cannot be accessed from any other class except from the class itself so that is why I couldn't access or I couldn't manipulate any private field from the color class but the only class the only method that can get access to these private variables are methods in the same class with the private fields. Uh, in my next lesson, we'll be talking about subclassing, where we get to extend other uh, classes and get to inherit some of the methods of other classes. Uh, stay tuned and endeavor to subscribe to my channel for a lot of Java programming tutorials coming by your way. Thanks very much and have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.